heard about our amazing girls basketball team? Yeah, they made it to the provincials. It's pretty amazing. Let's take a look at how they did. Recently, the senior girls basketball team have been very successful and the numbers have been adding up. All of the grade 12s on the team were born the same year that the school opened and the coach is Mrs. Kramer, Emma Kramer's mom. Earlier this year, Ms. Kramer announced that this will be her final year coaching the senior girls basketball team. And coincidentally, it's also the first year that the senior girls basketball team have ever made it to provincials. We interviewed some team members to see what's going on. So I'm here with... I'm Emma Kramer. And I'm Gisha Sega. And we're going to talk about the recent success with the senior girls basketball team. So I'm just going to ask a few questions. Um, Emma, how did it feel to get this far into the season? Um, it was really cool because it was our goal at the beginning of the year to make provincials. So when we actually made it, we were all like crying. We were so happy about it. So it was, it was an awesome feeling to make it this far. Mm -hmm. And uh, Keisha, what inspired you to play basketball? Uh, it was my parents. They always thought that I was like too lazy at home. So they were like, you need to get out and do something. Mm -hmm. So they put me into basketball. So I've been playing ever since. So it's been fun. Um, Emma, how does it feel to be going into SFU for the next season of basketball? Um, I'm super excited. I've kind of always been preparing for it. It's always just been a kind of a part of my life. I kind of know when I was going to go there. So I'm super excited to go up there and play. Uh, Geisha, what would you say was the most difficult aspect of provincials? Um, I would say getting ready for every game, preparing uh, ourselves to play our best, play our game that we have, and just putting in everything that we learned for the past five years. Okay. Uh, Emma, I understand your mom's the coach. How long has she been coaching you? Um, probably the last like five years for the high school mm -hmm. seasons. And how has that impacted your relationship with her? Um, it's definitely put a little bit of a strain on it sometimes. It's not easy. <laughs> being a coach, especially if your children are on the team, um, but she's definitely been such a role model for me, so it's really, it's helped me really look up to her as a, as a basketball player, not just like a daughter. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have any advice for the future senior girls basketball team? <laughs> um, well, because a couple of the girls were on our team this year who are in grade 11, and then my sister, um, only advice for them is to have fun and to uphold our nice sportsman-like manner. <laughs> What about you, Keisha? Uh, same thing. Uh, just put in the work, work hard, um, stay committed. Okay, and that's about it. Okay, and last question. Who do you guys think has like inspired you the most and supported you the most during this experience? Um, for me, it would definitely be my family, my mom and my dad, um, and a lot of it was Sophia, my little sister, because um, I feel like I have to be a role model for her. So I, it really pushes me to be my best. I would say everyone that's been part of the past five years for basketball, they've always supported me, they've always kept me going, pushing me, coach, my parents, siblings, friends, all of them, so I'm really thankful for them okay. being in my life. Thank you for coming out and speaking with us today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pancake! 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 Yeah, I'm so hungry, man. I wish I had some food. I, I didn't eat breakfast this morning. You know, some pancakes would be really nice right now, but I don't know where I get pancakes. We don't know about pancakes at home. Where's that noise? Where's that coming from? A hungry boy! Wait, hey, I heard you complaining from the other side of the earth! Yeah! Are you hungry? Yeah, so I got pancakes for you! I got it! In the hub at 7.15 a.m. Woo! On March 16th! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 you're not, you're not wearing green, you gotta wear green. Well, why? Well, I'm glad you asked. Whoa. Lucky day is on March 16th. The student council is going to be hosting a scavenger hunt with even more food in the hub. For more information, here is the Instagram.
I'm Jude, and he's Gavin. Have a stellar day.